Hi everyone, hello, hello, hello. This is my second mukbang video. Um, today I'm having a Indian snack. It's um, onion bhajis and chicken. Is it chicken? Is that what chicken? No, it's lamb. Lamb and vegetable samosas. <coughs> now these are all um, from the restaurant who I got it from and believe me they do some really really nice curries rice snacks everything so this is where I got it from it's from a proper Indian restaurant shop <coughs> man it smells absolutely wonderful so yeah guys this is my second um, mukbang video um, hope you guys will enjoy it. Um, please subscribe and hit the like button and comment if you want. And um, please enjoy. Um, there'll be more upcoming videos, reviews and mukbangs as well. Yeah. Now these sauces here, right? Let me see it. But these sauces are here, right? Those are traditional, proper Indian mint sauce wow it's made with uh, the mint sauce and yogurt <coughs> yeah these are really nice so if you are going to have indian snack you have to have proper indian sauces with it no other sauces now nah, it don't work but these are the original proper original stuff yeah it came with it so i've got Onion bhajis, a um, few samosas here, and I'm going to have it with the mint sauce, no chilli sauce, just mint sauce. And here, I've got some nice green lettuce. Oh, is it just lettuce? I thought I got some onions. Yeah, some um, lettuce and onion salad. They're crispy, they're fresh, mm. and they smell great. <coughs> um, when I finish everything, I'm going to have a yogurt. It's a natural live yogurt. Because when you eat spicy food, you know, you want to really have a yogurt. So guys, let's get crack on. Man, I love these. These are so nice. Mm. Mm. You know what? This is unbelievable, man. It's not hot. It's spicy, but very mild spicy. It has lots and lots of onions. Um, I could taste that chickpea flour. They're made with um, lots of onions, herbs and spices, and um, but the main ingredient is chickpea flour. They call it gram flour. Hmm. Mm. There's no chilli in these ones. I could see some green flecks in there. It could be coriander. Hmm. Oh man, mm. I 
You see, the main ingredients are lots of onions, coriander, and these ones have potatoes inside, and ground flour, chickpea flour. You know, it's deep fried. This is gorgeous, man. Those of you like Indian, man, know what I'm talking about. Well, I've dipped it in the mint sauce. Look at that. This mint sauce here is very refreshing. It's fresh, it's crisp, it's cool. <clears throat> very delightful, man. You can't beat Indian food, man. No, it's a nice. You said it. <clears throat> yeah, those sauces, man, they go so, so well with these. There's a cool mint sauce, man, with yogurt. Yeah, it just goes so well. They do the the traditional chili sauce as well, but I prefer these ones because it's much uh, it's much cooler. You know, so that and that really goes well, especially when having already spicy food. So you don't really need the chili sauce really. Oh man, these are so nice, guys! You gotta have these, man. See, what I'm having here, right, are starters before you have your main meal. Whenever you order your Indian takeaway, whether it's from a takeaway shop or from a restaurant, or you go to your cousin's house or friend's house, they will always serve you these. Because those are the starters. You know, those are just starters. Man, they're not them, Sarah. Man. So how is everyone? How are you? I'm fine, I guess. I'm doing the best I could. You know, it's not really a great deal with the weather here at the moment this week. It's it's been sleep a while ago. <clears throat> it's rain on and off. It's just done. Right. This is the lamb samosa. Wow. 
Oh man, this is nice. Mmm. Whoa. Both samosas are a bit dry inside, but it has 100% um, meat in there, lamb mince with peas and your herbs and spices. They're not hot at all, hot, just lightly mild. Hmm. Yeah, it's nice, man. The samosas are very moist. They made it fresh. Man, it's just wonderful. Now let's taste this vegetable samosa. Mm. Wow, I'm impressed. So lots of peas and carrots. Hmm. These are onion bhajis. Man, so these are the first, first um, light snack <clears throat> um, starters before you have your main meal. And this is what you'll be served wherever you go. Mm. I mean, you can buy this in the shops in the supermarket, but believe me, it's nothing like the original ones. They make these in the shop. Wow. Man, hmm. Mm -hmm. I 
I could dip it in there, but it just disintegrate. The meat just comes out quickly. It's a mess, but the taste is enormously nice. Wow, man. <clears throat> Cheers everyone. Wow, I'm getting full up here. Which one's your favourite? <coughs> Meat <coughs> or the vegetable one? I just saw the chicken one. Next time I'll get that. For me, they all really taste nice, but the lamb one is the lamb one is my favorite one. Hmm. Mm, this is nice. Dark berry sugar free tango. One more onion bhaji, then I'm going to call it. Mm. This is so lovely, man. You've got to have this. Mmm. Mmm. Right, trust me, I'm full up here. Indian foods are really filling. Man, I'm going to take a nap. Guys, thanks for watching, seriously. I highly recommend you to go to a local takeaway and order at least a starter, you know, a few samosas and a few onion barges, but with your traditional sauces, man. They're homemade. Ah. It's so nice. It's delicious. It's not hot. It's spicy, but not hot. Ah. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Comment and yeah, let us know what you think and what should I do next or what. Cheers guys, thank you.